All right, so we've got some graphs here that we're trying to utilize. And this one here says, what is g of negative 2? So in other words, uh, the g is kind of like the y, and negative 2 is our x value. So we're saying, what is g of negative 2? And when we plug in negative 2 for the x value, because remember, this is g of x, so that's what we plugged in, negative 2, you actually get negative 2 for the y value. Um, let's look at one that doesn't work out quite that way, just so we can kind of make sure we know what we're talking about. Let's look at f of 3. So since 3 is in the x plot, we're putting in 3 for the x and wanting to know what is the actual graph value, which is our y value, and so that is equal to negative 1. Um, and let's just try one other one, f of 6. f of 6, f of 6 doesn't exist. So it's just not there. Uh, so, and that is because this is the function only from 0 to 5, and 6 is just kind of out of that. Now, let's look at 7. Seven's kind of going backwards. It's saying, here's 3 right here, and it's saying when is the function equal to 3? Well, it's equal in two spots. It's equal at 1, and it's also equal at 5. So we've got kind of two spots that that is true, and um, we would look at it on the graph. We have a graph is at, let's see, 1 comma 3, and we also have it at 1 comma 5. We've got two little spots that that is true. Let's just continue on, get a good big picture of what's going on here. This is all regarding the F and the G. So this one here is saying, first of all, could you please find f of 0? So we'll plug in 0, and we get 8. And then I want you to find g of 8. So I go over to 8, and 8 doesn't exist on here. So let's look at that one again. I do f of 0, so I plug in 0 to my f function, and I get 8. And then I'm supposed to plug in 8 into my g function, which doesn't exist, so I would say it's not after 4. Let's look at another one. Hopefully I'm randomly choosing these, so hopefully this one does work out nice. So here I want g of negative 2. So when I plug in negative 2, I get negative 2. And then I'm going to plug in f of negative 2. Oh, darn it, this one doesn't work either. So this one also does not work. Let's hope that one of these does. Let's try this one. So let's look at f of 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so there, there's one that's going to work. So when I plug in 3 into my f function, I get negative 1. And then I want to find g of negative 1. And that would give me a positive 1 when I plug the negative 1 into this graph over here. Okay, so 15 says, in what interval is this guy positive? We actually have two intervals that it's positive. It's, it, it's positive when x is uh, between 2 and 0. So in between this section here, it's positive, and it's also positive here, which is in between 4 and 6. So it's really just negative in one interval. It's really just negative between uh, 2 and 3. All right.